and I'm going to do my brown paint. And so when you do this, it's giving it kind of a stained look. Okay, just like that. See, we're going to do all the sides. I'm even going to do the back. And if you want it to be darker, then you can add some more paint. If you want it to be lighter, then use the wetness of your baby wipe to wipe more off. I'm gonna show you here in a second. Let me go ahead and get all of the sides done and then I can show you. Okay, so we have this right now. If you, want, if you don't want that to be that dark, you can just take this and wipe it off. Can you see how this side over here is lighter than this side because I wiped some of it off? I'm gonna put it back on. So this is basically just acting like a stain. All right, there we have this one. One side is darker than the other, but it's gonna depend on the wood that you have. We're gonna need more brown paint. Your wood should soak up the paint fairly quickly, fairly easily. There's a lot of paint on that one. Make sure you get the sides. It will take a lot more paint to go onto the cut edges of the wood because your grain is open. And so it's just gonna soak it up a little bit more. But we're gonna wanna do all of our pieces And then if you have a dryer, we're gonna dry them a little bit before we do the next step. Okay, so there's two of them done. Let's do this one. If you want it to have more of a black look, so what I'm doing is brown and we're gonna add a light coat of black. If you like decorating with blacks or grays, you could definitely use the black right now and make it more of a gray stain. And let me show you what that would look like. Let me find a scrap piece of wood real quick and I'll show you what that looks like if you were to do the black. Okay. Um. I know I have a scrap piece of wood somewhere. Let's just use the back of this. And it was for that reason. So make sure you have your notifications on on this page because this is where I will post all the stuff. If there are ever any announcements for anything, they will go in here. I will post um, times, like I posted yesterday, what time we would be live today. So if you miss that, make sure you turn on your notifications. Don't forget the sides. You definitely want to make sure you take care of the sides. If you don't have gloves on, you are going to probably get sand or stain. Oh, you missed it. I like, yeah, I, like I said, I didn't send it. Oh, I didn't get the top of this one. Like I said, don't forget it. Okay. And we're gonna just go around the edges here first, just like this, and then we're gonna rub it. So I'm putting it on with the paint and then I'm kind of using the wet part to rub it in, okay? So I'm gonna put it on like this and then I'm gonna take the wet part of my wipe and kind of wipe it off. So now it's a little bit of a darker brown. I do want there to be more color on that, but I'm gonna go back and add color. Okay, so we're putting it on. I'm using my thumb or my pointer finger to put it on a little bit, and then I'm using the other part of my baby wipe to spread it out. There we go, that's the color I was going for. I wiped too much off on the first one. That's definitely the color I'm going for. 
Put some right here down the middle, spread it out some. So I'm using my fingertip to apply it. And then we're using the other parts of our baby wipe to spread it and um, tone it down some. If you need to get a new baby wipe, definitely do. And this right here, this technique here, it's all just going to be personal preference. I tend to like to do the edges um, a little bit darker than the inside. So you're going to see me going around the edges um, more than I go on the inside here. Can you see the ed outside of the edges are a little bit darker? Ooh, and I got paint on my hand that I just smeared. Let's do this side a little bit more. Okay, so you can see I'm doing the edges here. And then let's blend it with our baby wipe. Okay, so that's this one. Okay, black. Ooh, that's a lot of black, but we're going to spread it out. So if you're nervous about doing this step, make sure you have a baby wipe clear, uh, next to you that maybe doesn't have any paint on it. And then like there, when I was like, oh, that's a lot. I mean, I did, I did tone it down a little bit, but if you're nervous, make sure you have a clean baby wipe next to you because then if you get too much paint, because see, this one has paint all over it now. Grab that clean baby wipe and use that little bit that you put in that area to spread over your whole thing. And it will be, it won't be as jarring. I've done this technique for a while, so I'm pretty used to it. But that's kind of, if you're nervous, just make sure you have one baby wipe next to you that doesn't have any, any paint on it. And again, make sure you get the edges, even the cut edges, because you still want the color to be on there. Oop, we didn't do this side. See, that's a lot that I put on there, but now we're gonna take the baby wipe and just spread it out. So you're using the baby wipe to stain. I like staining this way because it's a water-based stain. If any of you guys have worked with stains in the past, that are like Minwax and um, most of the ones you get in the hardware store, they are oil-based and so they take forever to dry. But this is gonna dry just like your acrylic paints will dry. Okay. Got a lot of black on that one, didn't I? But we're just gonna keep blending it and I may even get a different baby wipe. Let's make sure we're, yep, those are looking good. You kind of want to make sure that they're a little bit consistent. Now, you're obviously not going to get the stain perfect on one piece of wood to the next, but as close as you can get. And you know, when you, I'm going to try something here in a second. If you want to do the black, you could probably, I'm wondering what the white would look like to do this. I'm going to try it on this sample piece of wood for you guys so that you guys can see what it looks like in case you want to do that. I think I'm running out of juice on my, my baby wipe here. There we go. Okay. Oh, didn't do this side. Okay, I think those are good. This might need even, even a little bit more. I think we do need a little bit more on this one. So you gotta remember, we're gonna put a black door on it. So you don't want it to be too dark. Okay, I think those are good. All right, let's do the base of this one now.
this piece of wood has some funky grain in it. So like that white part in there, that's actually part of the grain. That's just, that's just the uniqueness of the wood that's coming out in that. So can you see how it's working? Does this make you nervous? I wanna know if this makes you nervous. And if it does, I can kind of walk you through the steps a little bit more if you need some help. So, um, how can you go back? So Sheila, you can't go back in the video unless you're on replay. So you'll have to wait until it's over and then you'll be able to go back to the beginning and watch on the replay. But and while I'm still recording, it won't let you rewind the video. Um, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use some hot glue, Stacy. This may take a couple coats, probably will, because I want it to have pretty good coverage. And I think it's definitely gonna take a couple coats. I'm only gonna paint one side because we're actually gonna glue this down on our piece. Another thing that you could do, uh, one of my original thoughts was to give you guys a wreath. So if you want a wreath in place of a cross, you can do that as well and glue that on. And what I would recommend is going to the craft store, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, wherever. And if you go to their, uh, their dollhouse section, I will tell you that the wreaths that they have for their dollhouses are going to be the perfect size wreath for this. All right, let's do a little bit more on the front. And I think we're going to distress this a little bit too. Okay. We're gonna let that, dry. we're gonna start here and we're just gonna curve around like this. We're just gonna do a curved top. It is not perfect and you don't want it to be perfect, okay? Because this is an like an old, old church. Okay. So you have this, which you could definitely leave, okay? But if you want it to be more distressed, um, I'm gonna show you both ways, and you tell me which one you like. So you either have the black, which actually, I think it needs to be taller. And I think that side needs to be a little bit more. Okay, thought it needed to be a little bit more tall. There you go. So you can leave it dark black like this, or now you can take your wet wipe before it gets dry all the way. And we're gonna take it and we're gonna wipe down. Okay, just like that. And I think I wiped too much off. You still want it to have some definite lines there. Let's try it again, making sure that I don't take too much off. Okay, so that's the other way. Which do you like? Do you like it a full black door or do you like it kind of distressed like that? Totally personal preference, what you want to do. Um, there you go. I kind of like that. I kind of like maybe a little bit more No, I think I like the black all filled in. So we're just gonna fill it back in. Let's just fill it back in. So you can play with it. If you wanna see what it looks like, paint it and then wipe off like I showed you. And then if you don't like it that way, then you can, you can paint it again. You like it distressed. Some of you like the full black. It is definitely, yes, a personal preference. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the full black.
Okay, just like that. Okay. All right. So this is for the ladies that want a red. Let's see how this looks. So we're just painting like a half oval. Well, a big half oval. And this red isn't color covering very well, so it may take a couple coats. The red would be pretty for Christmas. It is actually really, really pretty. I do think I like it. Okay, we got a little bit too much there. Okay, I'm not sure that it will now. Is it's, yep, it's coming off. So we're gonna just have kind of the aqua mixed with the black on this one. Ooh, that kind of creates a cool look, you guys. I'm gonna show you. That looks like a really worn door. I'm gonna show you here in a second. And I'm just using the baby wipe. That looks cool. How does that door look? That looks really cool. I love it. You wiped off a lot of the black and put the red over it. That would be pretty. And I'm thinking, let's do, let's put a little bit of black on here too. We're just going to see how this works, you guys. It's going to kind of give it just a different look. I kind of like it. Let's do a little bit more red. I might have taken too much red off. Ooh, I like it. It makes the red door look a little bit aged. Since I put the black with it. Ooh, I really like that. It's not so bright and overpowering. I like it. I love it. You could put more black in it. You could even you could even put a little bit of white in it, you guys. Let's try that. Let's do a tad, 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 tad bit of white. This is just going to give it some shading and stuff. There you go. Isn't that cool? I love it. I like that. Hold on. I think I wiped off a little bit too much red right here. There we go. I like the red door, ladies. I like it. We're gonna do aqua on the other side. Now you don't have to make yours double-sided because of the way we're gonna glue it together, it's not gonna look right with the door on the back. I'm just doing this to show you guys a couple different options. I like it, I like it. You like it, Sally? I like it too. All right, now let's do some aqua. We're going to do some aqua over the black door and see what that looks like. Let's actually paint it on. And then we'll take some of it off. Okay. Now we'll take some of it off. Maybe too much. Oh, I like it. Just a little hint of aqua that I love. Just a little bit more right there. I think I'm actually going to dry this a little bit and then, oops, let's 
do this. I'm gonna just play with my door here for a minute. I'm gonna add some more black. So I wiped off a little bit too much black. There we go. Now I'm loving it. Okay, now I'm loving it. Can you see the aqua coming out in it? All right, now I'm loving it. Oop, that might be too much. All right, I think I'm happy. All right, so here's aqua and black. Now you definitely can just do the color, the black color, okay? I think I'm actually gonna do a little bit of red or white too. Yep, I love it. Okay, so just remember you only have the three colors in your kit. I love it. Let me clean this up a little bit right here. I love it. All right. So now in order to do our door knob, you're going to use the end of your, um, your brush, your foam brush. I'm just doing another coat of white here on my you're going to use your into, and I'm actually going to do a little bit. It's kind of like a, a long oval, okay? Here's what it looks like on the red. There we go. You could add some black to it to make it look more distressed. You could do whatever on the end of it. And then we're just going to scrape down the edge. Several of you have seen me do this on the main page. I do this on a lot of stuff. I am just doing it on the edges, just like that. Okay. So we're going to do that one. And then this one, I guess, has to look this way. So just make sure you're doing the right edges. Didn't get much down here. Okay, in your question, Elisa, I am gonna do the bottom. I am gonna do the bottom. All right, on this piece, this is gonna be the front. So I'm only gonna do the top here and the top edges and then down the front and the bottom here, okay? You don't have to do the only thing. You've started using this technique and you love it. It does make a difference, doesn't it? And it's so easy and it just gives it so much character. Okay, so we're gonna do this on the top. We're gonna do it here on the edges and then we're gonna go all the way down the top here. Hold on, I didn't get very much right there. Yeah and then the top here. Okay, so I have it on the top edges there. Now, I want it on this front edge too. So now we're gonna do the front edge as well. And I just keep dipping in the tip of, in my paint and that is just what's gonna give it. There's, it looks like there's still a lot of paint on here, but there's, there's not. It is white. This is white that I'm using. Okay, so whatever you see, so you're gonna see this edge and then the top edge, okay? I'm not gonna worry about the back because you're not gonna see that, okay? And I'm not gonna worry about the bottom because that's what's gonna be sitting on the ground or the table or whatever. Let's set it like this so it dries. All right, now on here, we're gonna do each of the angles like this. And 
this side. I got a little bit much there, but that's okay. Did I just stick my arm in that? I don't think I did. And then we're actually going to do it around the door as well. This, you might have to be a little bit more careful, but we're gonna just outline the door as just a little bit. I'm just kind of doing some lines. And you're gonna see here in a second when I show you that it's not a solid model. Ooh, I'm gonna love the blue. Hold on, I gotta concentrate here. It's tiny. So I'm just doing all the edges. See? I love it. Now that's really going to make that pop. And when this dries, I'm probably, I can probably just do it now. We'll just do it now. We'll do some black. You're going to see how the two colors, and I did it before my blue was dry. I love it though. Okay, here we go. I did give you baby wipes, yes! We're just gonna put it at the top. Oh my goodness, I love the addition of the cross, you guys. <gasps> so you're going to remember that the cross was not on the original piece, okay? Oh, I'm so glad, Colleen. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm so glad you guys like it. I'm telling you, the cross took it over the edge. Hold on. I got a little bit. I need to touch up the white a little bit. Oh my goodness. Check this out, you guys. Check it out with the cross. Oh my goodness! I love it with the cross, you guys! Oh my goodness. We're going to put a strip of glue right here on the small piece. We're going to do one whole strip right here. All the way from top to bottom. And I'm going to put stand this up so that it is level and we're gonna glue that together. Can you see how much I did? That's about how much, okay? It's about how much overhang. Oh, that is so awesome, Tammy. Yes, New York to Florida. That's the one, um, yeah. Yep, I, we have a lady that does that, so we can absolutely take care of that for you. And here we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna do one whole strip of glue right here. Um, many of you guys know I'm using high temp glue. It is my favorite. We're gonna lay it down so we make sure that it's level with the ground. So that's what I'm telling you to do right now when you glue it together, make sure it's um, on a level surface. That way it's, oh, and look at the little door in the back. That still looks cool, you guys. You could do the distressing on the edges like we did here on the back and that would still look amazing because it really does look cool with the door on the back. All right, so now we're gonna glue it on this. We're gonna put glue on all, we're gonna, let me fix this for you. We're gonna put glue on all three edges here, okay? I'm so glad you guys are loving the, doc, the box. You still love the red door. I'm so glad. Okay, so we did this and then just center. And it should fit perfectly. 
there we go.